approximately one in every 59 children are born with autism. Albert Einstein. Dr. Einstein had no speech until age three. Steve Jobs. He was a loner. He brought snakes to school. Leonardo da Vinci. This man was far advanced on the autism spectrum. I'm not naughty. I'm autistic. And I just get too much information. You're listening to Takiwatanga. Love Not Cure, exploring autism one strength at a time. So let's talk about skin issues. Given that autism is a developmental disorder that affects communication, social interaction, and behavior, it can also affect the skin of individuals on the spectrum. The first one is eczema or eczema, depending on where you are located, pronunciation may vary. Eczema is a skin condition that causes dry, itchy, and inflamed patches of skin. It is common among individuals with autism, and the cause is not yet fully understood. However, it is believed that a combination of genetic and environmental factors can trigger eczema. To manage eczema, it's important to keep the skin moisturized and avoid irritants such as harsh soap and detergents. Using a fragrance-free moisturizer can help alleviate dryness and taking lukewarm baths with gentle soap can also help. In severe cases, a dermatologist may recommend topical steroid creams or other prescription treatments. So people with eczema may experience flare-ups triggered by irritants such as harsh soap detergents or fabrics, stress allergies and changes in weather or temperature can also exacerbate eczema symptoms. In severe cases, eczema can cause skin infections or lead to scarring. The next one is sensory issues. People with autism often experience sensory issues including hypersensitivity to touch. This can make it difficult to tolerate certain or certain fabrics or clothing leading to skin irritation or even rashes. Additionally, some individuals may engage in self-stimulatory behavior such as scratching or picking at their skin. This can lead to cuts or infections. To manage sensory issues, it's important to find clothing and fa fabrics that are comfortable and non-irritating. Some individuals may prefer soft, seamless fabrics or loose-fitting clothing. Using fidgets or fidget toys or other sensory tools can also help redirect, redirect self-stimulatory behaviors. Sensory issues refer to difficulties processing information received through the senses, such as touch, sound, sight, smell, and taste. People with autism often experience sensory issues and this can affect their behavior, communication, and social interactions. Hypersensitivity to touch is a common sensory issue among individuals with autism and this can lead to skin irritation or even rashes. To manage sensory issues related to touch, it's important to find clothing and fabrics that are comfortable and non-irritating. So in addition to touch, individuals with autism may also experience hypersensitivity or hyposensitivity to other senses such as sound or smell. Some individuals may be sensitive to loud noises or strong smell, while others may seek out sensitive input by smelling or touching objects. So it may not be related to the whole topic, but just saying. So there are also other factors that may uh, exacerbate some of the experiences that the person is having based on sensory issues. Acne. This is a common skin condition common skin condition that can be exacerbated by stress and anxiety. Additionally, some medications used treatment or used to treat autism can also cause acne as a side effect. Acne is a common skin condition that occurs when hair follicles become clogged with oil and dead skin cells. This is characterized by the presence of blackheads, whiteheads, pimples, or cysts on the skin can occur anywhere on the body, including the face, neck, chest, and back. People with autism may be more susceptible to acne due to stress and anxiety. 
which are common among individuals to manage acne. It's, it's important to maintain a consistent skincare routine that includes gentle cleansing, exfoliation, and moisturizing. Avoiding harsh or oil-based products can also help prevent breakouts. Stress reduction activities such as exercise, meditation, or counseling may also help in this case. If acne persists despite these measures, a dermatologist, your specialist, may recommend a topical or oral medications to manage the condition. Please seek professional advice and treatment as untreated acne can lead to scarring and other complications and infections. The next one is allergies. Allergies can occur when the immune system overreacts to a substance in the environment, such as pollen, dust, or certain foods. Common symptoms of allergies include sneezing, runny nose, itching, and rash. Allergies can affect people of all ages. People with autism may be more susceptible to allergies due to a weaker immune system or hypersensitivity to certain substances. Some individuals may also have difficulty communicating their symptoms or may have unused, unusual reactions to allergies. And to manage allergies, it's important to identify and avoid triggers such as, as much as possible, this may involve using air filters, avoiding certain foods or medications, and reducing exposure to environmental allergens. Antihistamines and other medications can also help alleviate symptoms. Please, again, work with your healthcare provider or your specialist or your doctor to develop an allergy management plan tailored for the individual's needs. Skin issues can be a specific challenge for individuals with autism, but if you understand or by understanding the causes of these issues and taking steps to manage them, individuals can maintain a healthy and comfortable skin. Till next time. Every Tangata Fight Takiwatanga is different. If you fail with one strategy, don't stop. Keep moving forward. Always remember that for every failure you encounter is one step closer to your success. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, Memuto te fakawa haire. Let's stop judging others. Memahi tahi tato. Let's all work together. Kia maya, kia kaha, be brave and be strong. Thank you.